reading in Ehrman, um, he's talking about Q and he presents the theory of Q. Yeah. I'm not quite sure I'm on board with that. I really would like to hear your opinion. Okay. Q is a German for the German word Quella, I think the name is, and it means source. And it's the theory that there's a source prior to say Mark, uh, Mark and Matthew and Luke and John from which these uh, gospel writers have, are getting some of their information. The problem is there's never been a Q document found or any documents related to Q. It's an inference. Um, so I don't think that Q really ever existed. And there is a book written by a former critic of the New Testament, Ada Linneman, E-T-A-L-I-N-E-M-A-N-N, -E -A, -N -N, a German scholar who was very liberal for many years. And she ultimately became a Christian and wrote a book on biblical criticism. And I think she, in that book, if I'm not mistaken, talks about how Q doesn't really exist. It's called Biblical Criticism, I think. I think it's called that. But just type in her name, E-T-A, and then L-I-N-E-M-A-N-N, -N, a brilliant woman. She may have passed on by now. I met her about 20 years ago, uh, but a brilliant German scholar. So if you're talking about Q as being... Um... But look, let me say one other thing about Q. Let's suppose Q really exists. So maybe Q is a good source. Okay. Right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So if we're talking about Q as being theoretical because we don't have the textual evidence, mm -hmm. could we not say that about the New Testament as well? In what sense? What do you mean? It, like we don't have the textual evidence. Well, we do have textual evidence that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John wrote what they wrote because we have so many manuscripts we can compare them and reconstruct what they wrote. So based on the manuscripts only, not on an original text? We don't have the original text, but we not only have manuscript copies from the uh, New Testament documents, let me back up here, we also have 43% uh, of 8,000 New Testament verses are in manuscripts earlier than 20, 225 AD. That's from Daniel Wallace, who teaches here at Dallas Theological Seminary. Okay? Over 5,700 Greek and 19,000 manuscripts in other languages, the total Greek manuscripts stack over a mile high compared to four feet for classical Greek authors. So you've got, say, Four feet of manuscripts for Josephus, and the manuscripts for the New Testament stack over a mile high. So you've got plenty of manuscripts, and it's corroborated by over 36,000 quotations from the early church fathers. So it's not, just, it's not just the manuscripts we have, but we have quotations from the early church fathers, and they quote the New Testament so much you can reconstruct about 40-plus percent from just their quotations. So it's not just the, the manuscripts. It's the quotations that people used in lectionaries and uh, commentaries and letters that they wrote so we can get uh, the New Testament uh, manuscripts by just looking at what they've quoted from them. All right, Daniel Wallace is in Dallas, and he is probably the top expert in the world today on this, so you ought to look him up. Yeah, okay. Daniel Wallace. So don't just read Ehrman. Read Daniel Wallace. Okay, thanks Grace.